Whoa, I don't know what that was. That, was, that didn't sound good. Hopefully nothing's about to fall off, but it's doing what we want. Problem we got, as I said before, is these batteries are crap, so they're not going to be able to sustain the power. Also, I'm not using a controller, so <clears throat> what I'm trying to achieve is these four batteries are going to be a float that when the turbine's working, I can then use the power. This won't be a situation whereby I'm creating loads of energy and be able to store it for ages uh, because I haven't got the budget to buy the batteries I need to do that. You can see that's going pretty slow. I can actually, because of what I've got, I can actually see us doing about two RPMs and it's still, well, you know, between 90 and 100 a minute, I suppose, and it's still putting power in. It's not now because it's stopped. Anyway, over the course of the day, what I want to achieve is for that to have gone up and maybe the batteries will hold on to the power. I'd say we're at about 12 miles an hour at the moment. One thing I've noticed about it, it needs to get up to speed before the head assembly will start turning into the wind correctly. So I don't know if somehow the rapid movement of the rotor is actually helping that. It certainly seems to. But anyway, we'll come back in a bit. It's put three volts in there so far, which I know isn't great. And it's probably going to lose some uh, gradually, but it's a all day experiment. Okay, peace.